What's up, Aries? It's Sid from Savvy Sentian, and welcome to your January 2022 money reading. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe. Click that bell so you're notified whenever a new reading is released. If you all are not new, welcome back and thank you all for your support. If you all would like to book personal readings or purchase merch, if you would like to follow me on any of my other social media or join my Spiritual Safe Place group on Facebook, all the information that you need will be linked in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get into your reading, Aries. All right, what's going on with Aries financially? What's going on in Aries wallet, pockets, pocketbook, purse? Okay, and um, this is the Son of Swords. It came out a little bit askew, but um, what this is, if I say, hmm, it kind of came out askew, so it's kind of feeling like the energy of this reading is kind of reckless. You may be uh, being a little bit reckless, uh, careless in how you spend your money, uh, where you spend your money. You may be uh, not paying too much attention to your bank statements and things like that and not seeing that you have money being spent on things that you don't even know that they're being spent on. Um, like subscriptions that you forgot you had. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the death card. So with the death card, there needs to be a ending to this reckless spending, um, a transition in the way that you spend, um, if you will. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the leading energy. I'm going to put it up here kind of askew in the way that it came. All right, so let's see what's the root of your financial issue, Aries. What is the root of your financial issue? What is the root of your financial issue, Aries? Okay, and what is it that you need to do immediately? Obstacles are you facing, Aries? That death card is coming right back out. What obstacles? Okay. Um, and where can you find help? Mm -hmm. Where can you find help? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I may need to clarify a little bit. But at the root of your issue, Aries, it's the Nine of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. So you may be um, doing some type of entrepreneurial effort or there may be some type of project, something that you are doing um, solo or separate from like a job, uh, something that you're trying to create and grow to create independent wealth. You are on track. Uh, to create independent wealth. This is what your goal is, okay? Um, so you're slowly uh, working your plan to gain that. Uh, clarify further. Mm -hmm. High Priestess, this is spirituality. Some of you all may be doing um, spiritual ventures, trying to grow some type of spiritual business. Maybe you just purchased the Botanica or something like that. Might be a reader as well. But you're trying to grow your spiritual business. Um, for others of you all, you are just really kind of trusting your intuition uh, in your spiritual path. Or not your spiritual, but in your um, entrepreneurial path. You're really leaning on your intuition to guide you. Okay. Um, However, what you're needing to do immediately is to get out of this Eight of Swords kind of energy where there's some doubt, um, some negative self-talk. Um, maybe you're like stuck in your head as far as how to move or whatever. Uh, like you don't see how to get to your victory, how to get to your progress. Uh, clarify, please. I feel like you're needing to just get out of that um, 
you're needing to get out of that kind of energy and page of cups see the bigger picture okay see the bigger picture so you may have an idea of what it is that you want but mentally you're like i don't know if i could do that i'm not really capable of that i don't really have the things that i need to do that right now uh but the page of cups says look at the bigger picture like stop thinking like that expand your uh your vision okay well maybe i don't have this right now but i have this this and this right now maybe if i did this with these things i could get that you know focus out <laughs> okay um the obstacle that you're facing is the death card and the ten of cups in the reverse so there may have been a relationship that just recently ended that is affecting everything else financially like even if um like say this is a divorce you may have to spend money that you didn't want to spend to, to you know hire lawyers things like that but even if there is no money involved in the separation um your emotional state the end of your happiness um may be affecting your entrepreneurial effort or whatever this is okay um so you're really needing to find balance okay uh, where you're going to find help is by pushing through this this stuck energy the stale energy that you might be finding yourself in due to your emotional state okay um clarify further but perseverance resilience pushing through making head over heart decisions um to get out of this instability or unstable energy with the Ten of Cups. Um, putting your emotions to the side and really trying to just uh, use your head to build whatever it is that you're trying to build for yourself financially. Yeah, you, you gotta, um, you gotta figure out a way to not let your emotions affect your coins. Okay, um, let's get a postcard from Spirit for you. Postcard from Spirit. Oh, this is not a postcard from Spirit. This is Moonology. Let's get a Moonology message for you. Nothing is yet set in stone. This is the mutable moon card. So when this card comes up, it says that if you don't like the way that something is going right now, then you still have the ability to change it. The cement is not dry yet, okay? So take some of them stones out, move them around, and see if you like the way that things are in a different position. If there's nothing to change, if you like the way things are, then carry on. But don't feel that the way that you're currently doing things is the way that you have to do things. If you don't like it, change it, okay? Um, and that is... <laughs> especially in your emotional situation. If you don't like the way that your emotional emotional situation is affecting you financially, then change your emotional situation, okay? Um, I kind of feel like for some of you, your thoughts are getting away from you. You're not able to focus because of your emotional state, okay? Let's try to find a way to refocus. All right, rebel messages, rebel, rebel. Talk nice or don't, I don't care. But please tell Aries what they need to hear. You got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside of you, listen to that shit. So something may be telling you intuitively that something about the situation needs to change. High priestess energy, I told you before that your intuition is kind of guiding you through whatever this is. Um, so listen to that. Because again, nothing is set in stone. So... If there are people that you are working with that you just don't feel right about, maybe they don't need to be on this project or involved in your business. If the location of the botanica, this, the hypothetical botanica that you're building, um, doesn't feel right, the neighborhood feels spiritually off, that's not the place that your, your botanica needs to be. Don't sign any contracts right now. Mercury retrograde, find a new location, okay? Um, so just evaluation and listening to how you feel intuitively and then making your decisions based on that 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get some advice for you, Aries. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. What is the advice here? It's a mother of cups, high intuition, healing energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have the Mother of Cups, we have the Six of Cups, and we have the Hangman Energy. So the Mother of Cups, like I said, is highly intuitive. Um, this is also very healed and emotionally balanced energy. You have to get your emotions in check so that you can be successful financially. Also, we have the Six of Cups. Uh, the Six of Cups energy is emotional reciprocity. Uh the people involved in this situation, if this is people that you work with, you need to make sure that they are giving to you like you are giving to them. Um, and also that they're on the same page with you, that they feel the same about this project, they have the same passion and love for the project that you do, or they don't need to be involved because they're not going to give the same energy to whatever this is that you're giving to it. Okay, and then finally, surrender. Okay, surrender to the process. Um, for a lot of you, I mean, like I said, your feelings are having a lot to do with this. So perhaps you need to take a moment and step away from whatever this is and feel your feelings. Cry it out. Uh, throw shit. Whatever you got to do to to make, to create balance in your emotional state so that you can approach this situation in a better headspace and a better emotional space. Okay, you need to be balanced before you pour into whatever this is. Um, this really feels like you're a love child. This is something that you that you hope to have for a very long time, and you don't want the foundation of it to be anger or upset or whatever emotion you're currently feeling. Okay, you want to build whatever this is from a place of love. Okay, so yeah, Aries, that is your reading. If this resonates for you and you don't mind sharing, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time I read for you, Aries, I'm wishing you all love and light and healing and everything right. And I will see you in the next reading. Goodbye.